Bloodhound SOC, you're cleared. Engine start. Bloodhound engine start. Ready to roll. Here is where the world's first 1,000 mile an hour car will be created and developed, ready for testing in South Africa. It's very difficult to predict a time scale on a project like this. We are fusing the top end of Formula One technology, top end of aerospace and the top end of space technology with our uh, rocket propulsion system. We're putting all of those together in a world beating package. No one has ever done this before. So how long will that take? We don't know. Two years from now will be the safe target to get all of that uh, together and running to plan to go to South Africa. So our target date now is summer 2015 to do all of this. Comparing this project with Thrust SSC is, is a very interesting comparison. We've held the record now for 16 years. In 1997, we set the world's first supersonic record. That is still the world land speed record. There are competitors around the world, but Bloodhound is probably at the vanguard of those competitors. Thrust SSC was difficult because we were going through the sound barrier for the first time in history. That was unknown territory. We've done that, we know what happens there. The tricky bit is we're now going to the limit of modern technology. We're going to 1,000 miles an hour. Five years ago, that wasn't possible. It's the research we've done in the last five years that's made that possible. So it's a natural extension of what we did last time. As far as I'm concerned as the driver, Thrust SSC was really difficult to, uh, to drive, but we've learned a lot since then. I'm hoping that this is going to be a little bit easier. Education is core to the Bloodhound message. Five and a half thousand schools, ranging from five and six year olds, all the way up to Bloodhound at University as a separate program, inspiring young people about the magic and excitement of science and technology. When the, the class were having balloon car races with little fold up cardboard Bloodhounds and a balloon on top to drive it across the classroom and then trying to make it go faster, he's talking about why this happens. The action of reaction of when he lets go and the air comes rushing out. He says this is Newton's third law at work. Eight-year-old boy is talking about Newtonian physics, which is astonishing, and he's excited about it. So it's meant to feel like that. Are we, in this building, a bunch of big kids playing with, uh, with cars? No, we are running a top-end aerospace program to take aerospace, Formula One, and space technology, fuse that all together to the most remarkable car in history, and then develop it step by step. So for me, the satisfaction intellectually of working with some of the world's best scientists and engineers, the world's leading experts in their field are in this building. So we are developing the world's fastest car. The bonus for me as a Royal Air Force fighter pilot is I actually not only get to help design it, I get to drive it as well.